Well, racing was at Sandown Park today on a fast track and two favourites successful. In the first, Tristram was back from 6 to 1 to 11 to 4. Lane and Prince Gilgood finishing well. Here's Tristram with its run on the outside. Prince Gilgood got to the lead from Scotts Lane. Tristram the outside. Prince Gilgood in front. Tristram going home the better with Scotts Lane in the middle. Prince Gilgood, Tristram the outside getting to it as they hit the line and Tristram in the last stride. Tristram by a nose to uh, Prince Gilgood and a half hit away third in the middle. Scotts Lane, a great finish. Three-way photo going to Tristram at 11 to 4 in the first event. Hop Market out of a place. Newsmonger did likewise in the second. Left to go now, and Rose of Banaka, White Baroness together from Puissance finishing well, and Bay of Sterling, Bay of Sterling and Puissance getting to Rose of Banaka, Bay of Sterling the filly going home a bit, the better's put her head in front, and Bay of Sterling's drawn away to win by three quarters. Rose of Banaka and Puissance is third. Bay of Sterling was too good for the Open Age mare, scoring at seven to one. In the next, it was a very good race. Baptized was sent out favourite. Mighty Avenger, he's raced to the front. Mr. Glamour and Wills Jim getting up on the inside. Mighty Avenger in front with 100 to go. Holding Wills Jim and Mr. Glamour and then baptised. And Mighty Avenger wins. Mighty Avenger first on the rails. Wills Jim second. Mr. Glamour third. Star Pyramid. Mighty Avenger was too classy for them getting the money at 3 to 1. Mr. Glamour and Wills Jim dead heating for second. A great ride by Darren Gouchy in the fourth. Followed by Tilopia pushing through with Ripper's Dream, High Drifter and Bandy Legs wide out, many chances. High Drifter going to the lead. The Vagrant's got a freak run on the inside. He's come from nowhere, the Vagrant, and he's won. The Vagrant has won from High Drifter. Third, I don't know, Cambises and Bandy Legs, and they're followed... The Vagrant at 9-4 to four defeated High Drifter at 20-1 to one and Bandy Legs at 7s. In the next, Amanda Pink was favourite. The lead at the 200, kicked away from Miss Munda. Cumtel still finishing, but late. It's Besterberg in front by two or three links in front of Cumtel getting to second. Besterberg nicely clear. Besterberg wins from Cumtel. Miss Munda's got third. Besterberg at 10 to 1 got the prize from Cumtel at 9 to 2. Miss Munda at 10 to 1. The bookies cheered home hand painted in race 6. My will getting to it the inside. Then Solitaire Love hand painted starting to make a run through between horses. Hand painted over on the inside. Got his head in front now from Irish Chance. Hand painted's going on to win. Canted in as a matter of fact. Uh, might be Irish Chance second just in front of Williams Booty and then came live. A first up win to hand painted at 15 to 1. In the next a sensation at the start when Noble Tinjar was withdrawn at the barrier. He was favourite. Another but cup tie broke clear with 100 to go. Northern Planet picking him up. Northern Planet has got to this lead now. Northern Planet starting to race away. He'll win. Northern Planet scores. Just another's run second. Manship has probably got up for third in front of... Another one for the bookies there, Northern Planted at 25 to 1, just another at 8 and Manship at 12 to 1. Punters desperate, got out on Gallipoli Prince at 5 to 4. Octavian, call me the breeze rattling home on the outside, Gallipoli Prince by five lengths at the 100. Call me the breeze is going two to its one, Gallipoli Prince two in front, 50 metres to go. Flying home, call me the breeze, they hit the line, Gallipoli Prince has lasted. Wouldn't want it to be a step further, but he's one of the nose to call me the breeze. Third, either winning rink or sovereign dagger and then... Well, he's a very lightly raced horse and that made it to two wins at only three starts, just lasting Gallipoli Prince to beat to Call Me The Breeze and winning Rink. Today's quadrilla for the numbers 1, 8, 2 and 9, $1,623.80. The double, 11 and 10, $383.20, extra 5 and 1, seven ninety. At Randwick, the double, 8 and 5, 31, 20, extra 3 and 5, 38, 75. In Adelaide, the double for a pair of threes, 21, 35, extra 5 and 3, 8, 25. Seymour Quadrilla, 5118, 1412.55, the double there, 5 and 1, 1305, the extra 1 and 8, $177.60. Well, Valley of Carome won the $200,000 railway stakes run in Perth just a short time ago. He was ridden by Brendan Clements, who at 24 years of age has announced he'll retire after this summer carnival. It was a tremendous ride leading all the way. Here now, the uh, replay of the railway stakes. Came Kiwi Slave, Prince of Paupers and Jamoina around the bend for Homer. Valley of Karome the first for Homer. Jungle Mist off the fence. Miller's popped at the question. Down the outside, Keepers. Concrete going for a run on the inside. Valley of Karome won't give in. Concrete getting up on the rail. Down the outside, Keepers. Valley of Karome, Concrete and Keepers. Valley of Karome in front. Keepers died. Take Keepers or Valley of Karome. Up those Concrete, Jungle Mist and Prince of Paupers. 
And there's the result with Valley of Carome getting the money, $6.50 and one seventy. Keepers second, two twenty, and Concrete was third in the railway stakes, returning 85 cents. Well, uh, that's the day in sport, and uh, Pete, things starting to clear up on the weather scene yet? Well, tomorrow's certainly looking better. We'll go and...